Hello, hi, hello, welcome to another episode of Monster Train. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Oh, hopefully you're having a good one. Sorry. Oh. Terrible spot to yawn. Anyway, let's play train. I got nothing new going on. You know, same old, same old. 20 minutes till dawn is going well. Train's been going well. Everything's going well. Let's see what we got on today's train episode, though. What are we rocking here? I'm okay with this. I don't... I mean, planks are good in the early game. I like the starting cards here, too, but, like, I don't know, man. Seraph the Patient's kind of spooky. There's no real way to, like, daze it. I'm a little scared. But we'll see what we can do here. Um... Like, also... Prince is kind of whack. I don't know. We can feed it morsels in the early game to help us. Like, But other than that, I don't know what we're doing here, really. I'm down Vapor Funnel, though, I think. For now, Vapor Funnel seems cool. Oh, no. Okay, so... This sucks <laughs> real bad. What do you do here? I think you take Wrathful... I don't know, though. This is going to be tough. I think you take Wrathful here. I think you take the Divine Horde, too, actually. Get some direction, maybe. This is so bad. Uh, we'll take we'll take Imsicle. Imsicle will hopefully help us out a little bit here. We're going to be self-torching a lot, though, I imagine. Oh, and, and we get the Apprentice of Light. This is terrible. Oh, I just realized, also, we have Merchant of Steel on. Bro. God, this is, a, this is a fucked up run already. Probably gonna go left side here and just stall until we get to this merchant of steel to get something useful at this at this steel shop and banner. But I think we can skip the trial here, especially because we have the uh, the shards and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. This is fine because we can ah we can't even ah we can't even do, we can't do shit, man. <laughs> um, Prince goes up here. We can't we can't kill the, the priest for the record. Can't be done. I think. Plan to get, get rid of the spell shield here, maybe? Try to soften you up? I don't know. You heal yourself too, never mind. Okay. Waste of time. Take out the crossbowman here. We're giving you a damage shield, but like, what are you gonna do, right? Um. Holding it gets us pretty close to being able to kill you. It depends on how where planks go here. If we if we double plank here, oh, actually, hold on. Oh, you're you have damage shield. No. If double plank hits the apprentice light, we can torch it and we get the kill here. Never mind. Um. Oh, I forgot we have a we have a vapor funnel. Never mind. It's, it's okay that you leak. Whatever. Fuck it. The extinguish is annoying, still, but what are you gonna do about that, right? Need armor. Need torch. There you go. Do you have trample? You do have trample, okay. Put you behind then. Fuck me, I guess. Oh, I should have I should have hidden passage him because we would have gotten the Hornbreaker Slay. Still get the win here, but you know, a little bit of a misplay on my part. It's fine though. It's all good. I guess we can take Welder Helper here? I don't know. I'm I'm very skeptical about this entire run in general. But we have the imp we have an imp theme going here. We get a space prism as well. It could be worse. Could be better. Could be worse though. And I I don't think the Umber Banner is the way to go here. I don't oh, God, I hate morsels, man. Go over here. Look at the merchant of magic. Um What do we want? I wouldn't hate a holdover march, but it's not that useful. 
Surge Stone is fine on like a mind collapse or I think I like it on a mind collapse here more. Ember Stone is fine on like on like March of Shields. I don't think we reroll. Nothing here is super worth rerolling. True Stone, Twin Stone. We could take the double stack of March of Shields or we, or we could Twin Stone. It gives us a little bit more movement options, a little bit more flexibility with it for the same effect, but shards is a concern. But I think we're just supposed to leave this behind. Yeah, I think that's what we're supposed to do. And just go to this merchant of steel and find something that wins us the game here. Like, like you know, you know it would be sick on this run? Apex Imp. Be pretty cool, huh? So, we'll see. We'll see what we get. Um, I'll take a unit draft for, for extra attack on enemies. I, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yeah, I'm a little afraid of ghosts now, actually. I've decided. I've decided this ghost is scary. One day. One day. So fucked, man. We can't even double torch you because of the trusted priest heals. Maybe do like this into this for the greed. And just hope we get like a molting imp this turn. Muller Helper. It's like not the worst thing in the world. Killing you is good. Mmm. Oh, we already ran out of room shit. Okay, well. Get my ass absolutely beaten. Yeah, that brings you to 20, which is not enough. We need a we need a train steward in here too. You're dying. Ah shit. And we're taking less damage too. Okay, well. Taking one hit to fire, I think. Oh, this could this could be going better. This could be going better for sure. Let's put you here, I think. I want to save these guys for potential plinks later. Oh, this is not good. Let's get you down. Get you in the mix here. Please. Please blink. Thank you. <laughs> okay. The fledgling imps took a while, but they came through for us here on the on the imsicle. It was it was a little rough. <laughs> it was a little, little bit rough. Okay. Important important pack here. God, there's so, the cards are so bad, man. Game is really not giving as much to work with. Um. We're supposed to skip these. I don't think any of these help us. Immortal trade on Hornbreaker Prince. Not good because he gets all of his HP via armor. Could try to go perils. Could try to go hold over perils here, but I think it's a little late for that. Yeah, I think we're just supposed to skip this too. I don't know. Maybe take Pack Morsel for like feeding Hornbreaker Prince again, but that doesn't seem that good. I think we're just skipping this for the money. Give me, give me a good unit. God damn you, video game. This is fucked up. This is so fucked up, man. What the hell is this? This is a, this is a, a hell unit draft. What the fuck, man? I'm I don't know what to take. I'm actually dumbfounded. I think I want to take the Crucible Warden. We have no morsel support outside of Plank. That can't be right. I I think we just skip this as well, which just sucks, and just rely on this. Oh no, it's gonna be Demon Fiend, Consumer of Crowns, man. I already know. Endless. You can put that on like the Welder Helper. Fine, but 
Okay, it's not. It's actually decent, decent units here. The only issue is that uh, we didn't get any good rage cards. We have Welder Helper in the mix. I guess we'll take the Horn Warrior. I am not excited. I think we're supposed to go Endless Welder Helper. Slap a plus 25 on the Horn Warrior. Play it like that for now, but I... Unbelievable. I think we can roll here too. Roll here, look for like a multi. On the Horn Warrior as well at this point. We don't get it. I, I don't know, man. I don't see how we win this game. At this point. This is probably worth it, actually, huh? Eh. It's only 10 health. No, actually, never mind. Forget it. We're just going to build infinite armor. That's the play. Build infinite armor. We, ha we have enough damage to kill heavies now, basically, right? Do a little of this, a little of this. A little of this in the mix. Boom. Blink around. Use some base HP. Kill a rubble morsel. Don't want to redraw that later. The bombs only have two HP, so we torches kill them, which is nice as well. Um, or we can get really bad draws. Or good draws. Okay, tight. Let's armor you up a bit. We're going to be torching this imp next chance we get. Or just get a space prism. That works too. Kill the endless imp. Oh, I should have played a mind collapse first, actually, because then we could torch the welder help or the fledgling imp as well. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Kill this. We're getting, I feel like, very lucky with our imps off of uh, Imsicle this time. Maybe we're just getting unlucky before, though. Who knows, right? This is not a big deal. All these guys leaking just get killed by Vapor Funnel. I am not very concerned here. What a... The bomb is annoying, though. The bomb detonating is going to be a hassle, for sure. But we have enough HP. I think it's, an issue. I think it's, it's not an issue. Hmm. I'll put this in here. Something like that. Uh. Get a little bit extra damage in there for this. And this is an easy dub. Like, I don't need to, you know, think too hard to realize this is definitely enough damage to kill Daedalus, right? Um, we got through Daedalus. That's cool. That's tight. I still think we're losing this run. <laughs> I don't know. We need something big to come back from this, and we're not really getting it. Although, now I wish we had the perils, because we could, we, could we could go Furnace Tap, all in Perils, Wrathful Prince strategy here. It's an option. We don't have the perils now. We, we missed the perils, is, is the sad thing. Uh, you know what? I'm actually down with Morsel Maker Infusion on the Horn Warrior here, too. That's pretty solid. I'm not going to find any better infusions from this point onwards. I'm not really an imp build, so I don't think we need like a ton of space here. Yeah, like the card draw right now. And then maybe we take energy to, to counteract, counteract the uh, Ember Drain from... Furnace that maybe we're supposed to just go Hornbreaker Prince Carry build here. Uh, if we want to go left side, right side has a vortex, but the Umber Banner is pretty bad. We get the Hell Vent. What if we Hell Vent the Furnace Tap? <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying we're not doing anything else worthy, <laughs> like noteworthy in this in this run right now. It could be it could be our line. Um, we'll see what happens. For now, 
Let's do this. Take the horde. Uh, refracting lens. We have two consume spells. That's good enough for me, I think, here at this point. Yeah, I think I want to commit to the full-on Furnace Tab Wrathful uh, Hellbreaker or Hornbreaker Prince here. We see Brawler, it's like kind of worth considering, right? But I think we just get the higher base damage on Wrathful and the, the better uh, Rage Gain on Revenge Trigger. And just run it like this here. It's gonna be a little nutty, but we might we might be able to find a way here. Uh, ooh, that's party boy, huh? Then we skip the trial. Then we try to play bottom floor here. Oh, you know what? Sure. You get the kill here, you're gonna start feeding this, he's gonna ramp up. Hopefully we give him the furnace halves when we draw him. Everything dies, rocks fall. We're gonna be Ember Drain to Oblivion next turn anyway, so you might as well just play the, the train steward. I mean, my man's doing it, right? Play this for the heal on a, on a refracting lens. Maybe someday I'll be allowed to play spells again, but not today. So we can... Well, actually, we can't double torch. Never mind. I was going to say, we can double torch away these morsels and then play a fledgling imp, but we just can't do it. It is not possible. Could have played this. Oh, you know what we could do? We could, like, hidden passage unit out of here. Like, we can get rid of Morsel Maker. I don't know how worthwhile that is, though. I think we win this combat anyway. Let's let's torch you for the, uh, the rage increase. Yeah, like, he, he, he fucks shit up here. Okay. Very cool, very cool. Um, give me more... I mean, we could do Impish Scholar to bring back Consume Cards again, but our Consume Cards aren't even that good. Probably just get more armor. <laughs> okay, how many Furnace Taps can we put into a single deck? That is the question now. <laughs> that is the question. I think we can put a lot. I think we can put a lot of these fucking uh, Furnace Taps into here. Um... I don't think we care that much about the Horn Warrior upgrade. I think we want to infuse it, but I think we want, to, we want to go right side and look for things like cost reductions on these Furnace Taps so we can chain them into each other and just Ember Drain ourselves into Oblivion. I think that's our current line. Um, I kind of want to keep Train Stewards around for the... Uh, for the what's it called? the potential crystal cloak here because crystal cloak is going to cause some problems for us but i don't know um well do we have a value stone in the in the temple here we do look at that okay value stone i kind of like permafrosting a value stone uh a furnace tap we can like chain them together basically and not ember drain ourselves but i think it's not worth the money oh I will, I will surge stone another mind collapse though that's definitely a good play here now things are interesting because now we can we can do this it costs one but it gives us ember, eight ember drain right but i think we were better off just making them all zero costed honestly We'll start on a plank. Okay. What else is in here? Value stone, true stone? True stone, kind of whack. Don't need it. Oh, we gotta do the uh, infusion too. Hold on. They do the morsel maker into the horned warrior. 
You could argue that maybe the Morsel Maker feeding uh, minions was better here. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's better or not. Or specifically feeding feeding uh, minions and morsels into the uh, Hornbreaker Prince is what I'm trying to say. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if it's better though. It's kind of a weird one. I think we still get rid of the train stewards. We can self torch the the warrior. Hornbreaker Prince. I don't know. Brain's broken. Uh, let's run it. No crystal cloak, please. Okay. This is acceptable, I think. Let's give the trial, though. We have a lot of shards here. I don't think we immediately go for the furnace tap. I also don't think we want to. We want to play Morsel Jeweler. I think we want to get the Rage off of Revenge triggers. Kill this. Eat my man. It's pretty good. Okay. Hidden passage you up. You'll die to the refracting lens, which is good for us. Link didn't get there, unfortunately. Whatever. Hmm. We gotta pop it now, I think. Chump with Rubble Morsel. Uh... Impish Scholar doesn't matter here too much, other than bringing just back a Consume card. Um, let's do this. In whatever. Like this. You're not getting any slays though, which is not good news for us. <laughs> I'm trying to get you closer to death, I don't know. Burn his tap here. We are now unbelievably ember drained. I think the Sower of Sorrows kills us. Put this down, get a little extra damage. How are we doing in the Relentless? Oh, hey, we get the kill, actually. Damn. Okay, well, that works, I suppose. The build's working, baby. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> These all seem, like, not good for our deck. We need cards that cost zero. <laughs> These cards do not cost zero, therefore I will not be taking them. Malika, oh, that's not Malika. I was gonna say, please stop showing up. I don't want it, the shards. Um. Honestly, I'll take the Divine Forever Flame here over the 25 gold, because this will make our imps cost zero, which will be very helpful. A normal, a normal Forever Flame would actually be really good for us, too. For the same reason. Um, at this point, I wouldn't hate a Steel Shop upgrade for our uh, Horned Warrior here. And we get like a Concealed Cavern 2 for it potentially. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Let's go here. Let's see what happens. Merchant of Steel, kind of sucky. Divine Temple, also not great. Um. Hmm. <laughs> uh. 
let's roll this first. See if we get a multi strike, then go to the cavern and see if we can get an overstack on the uh, Horn Warrior. Okay, hey, that's a good upgrade. That's not that's not too shabby. What do we got here? Not an overstack. We get to toss a toss a train sword in, which is good news. What do we get out of it? Random Hellhorn, random Umber card. Give me the random Hellhorn card. That's funny. <laughs> no, thank you. Not today. Does not work here. Like, even remotely. Um. And I wish we had that Perils. <laughs> I wish I didn't skip that Perils, man. I didn't think we were going to do an Ember Drain run, but now seeing these Furnace Taps, I wish we had it so bad. Um. Okay, let's just run into Fell. Let's see. Let's see how far these furnace taps can take us. At least we get a free slay on these like statues. That'll be useful. Maybe. Put this here. Oh, we didn't even, we didn't even get the slay. The horn warrior killed it before we could slay. Damn. That's tragic. Uh, matter too much. I think this is a good combat for us, though, overall. Like, look to plenty of weak, weak soft boys to get slays with Hornbreaker Prince first. What the fuck, man? Uh, bup, bup. Get some more. Ah, uh, do we want the Welder Helper here? I guess the Welder Helper is pretty good. Ah, you know we're gonna get the armor. It's fine. I guess it's, it's time to furnace tap. So hold on. We could, we could, uh. Let's save this one for later, actually. I think it's gonna be smarter to save it for a little bit. We can draw two this turn. We can play them both. See, look at that. Now we get to do this. And take a curse. Curse out of there. Armor. We get to do this too. Nice. Okay, Plink. Please. I mean, maybe we should get rid of the Quill Marksman first, actually, to reduce the number of targets you hit here. You son of a bitch. God, I hate you, Plink. Well, let's try to let's try to Plink the Marksman here. I doubt it'll work, but yeah. We'll just kill him. Oh, here's a bunch of free damage on us. Take the armor. And we got the refracting lens to eventually deal this damage back, so it's not a huge deal. There we go, the last furnace tap. A little extra armor in here. Plant. And we win this, right? Yeah, we win this. Unfortunately, don't have room to play this Pyro Chomper, so we can't get rid of these curses, but whatever. Not a big deal. Okay, you know what? You can just take 18 Furnace Taps and win the game, it looks like. Looks like it is possible. I'll take Alloy here. Alloy seems pretty good pre-Furnace Tap. Take more card draw. Ooh, 
Malika, no thank you. I appreciate the concern. No. What do we even do? Do we just go to the hell event and do furnace tap again? Like... At this point, I feel like I'm just committed to see how far we can go. But yeah, let's do it. What we got in here? Seek stone. Now, we got an interesting play. We can go seek stone, furnace tap, and then immediately immediately just go ham on it and also get this one down to zero two yeah let's do this seek stone furnace tap dupe the furnace tap and now hornbreaker prince is just going hard immediately and we'll see if he can make it we'll probably actually have to i imagine chump block because keep in mind we're gonna stare up the patient here i think we're gonna have to chump block uh with Horn Warrior here for the uh, for the first round or two in the in the in the Seraph the Patient fight, but I think we can get Hornbreaker Prince to solo carry beyond that is the idea. Going to be a lot of damage coming in though. I have faith. I have faith that Wrathful Prince can do it for us here. He's never let me down before. Heaven Seal, I think it's a bad idea because these guys have a lot of HP and there's a very good chance we're just going to leak a little bit here. We don't need the money. We're just going to the Merchant of Steel and duping. <laughs> we're just going to the Hell Event and we're just going to dupe it again. So this seems, yeah. Unnecessary. It's not lethal damage coming our way here. Which is nice, but I don't know about this. Why are you taking lethal damage? Oh, oh, the spikes! Never mind, there we go, we're good. Um, guess we play this. Guess we play this. I guess we kill the wing conduit here. I guess we bring back Impish Scholar to get another furnace tap. Guess we torch. You kill you for sure, and my man is gonna walk, unfortunately. But we're netting, <laughs> we're netting even here. It looks like damage-wise, and maybe the, also the vapor funnel kills him too. So there's that <laughs> as well. Okay, we play, we play nothing. Now this is the moment of truth. Can we survive this round? Oh no, <laughs> we're living. Okay, so we sacrifice the Horned Warrior. <laughs> we take some damage here. Not a lot. And how do we how do we do in the Relentless? We we survive. I can't believe this is working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This has to lose against the Divinity, though. I can't imagine this actually winning against the Divinity. So, or, or against Seraph the Patient, I should, I should clarify. I, I can see it's winning against the Divinity, actually, with this. The Seraph the Patient, though, I think is going to absolutely obliterate us. But damn, is this funny. <laughs> um, Maybe we have to go to the Magic Shop and lower some of the costs of the, like... Or specifically lower the cost of Alloy. Although, how important can Alloy be, actually? You know what? Fuck it. Never mind. Alloy, whack. We're going left side. We're duping it again. Merchant of Trinkets, what do you got for us here? Add. 
This is all not good. Roll it. This doesn't help us. I mean, life seal kind. Oh no, life seal. Is we lose life seal immediately, huh? Oh, it might help us though. If Hornbreaker Prince takes a hit and survives, this will give him some more HP. I think we take this on the off chance that it somehow. Oh god, excuse me. Miraculously helps us. I guess collection of tails. Like he does have some rage. You know what? Sure. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I give up. Let me in. Um. They have the patient. Let's do this. Oh. So. We're gonna move you up for sure. I think we have to play Hornbreaker Prince in front so he gets the slay on the light wings. It's worth more. And we just have to hope for a, uh... Oh, what's it called here? Oh, he lives, though. Never mind, we don't have to hope for shit. Love an extra space here to play like Fledgling Imp down, but whatever. I'm not going to complain too much. Uh... I don't want to give you more attack. I think we just, I don't torch you. Move on with our lives. Okay, I mean, March is fine here, but I think this man's gonna obliterate us next turn. Although maybe, you know what? We pivot. Okay, so Mind Collapse is gonna get us some energy back here too. Um... Right now, Seraph is... I think we do this. Oh, yeah, I think we do this. Hmm. Let me think here for a second. Hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So right now, you're hitting, and you're you're killing. Seraph's hitting Hornbreaker Prince and getting a melee weakness hit here, right? So what if we... Hmm. Okay. And then I think we want to move up the Shade Wings here too to get Hornbreaker Prince to kill you. Oh, never mind. Everyone dies, actually, if we do that instead. Never mind. I fucked that up. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> never mind. That ruins everything. My bad. My bad. Okay. It's all still the same. This is good. Maybe we just put this here, huh? Maybe we just put this here? Like, Light Wings doesn't even kill it? Let's try that for now, actually. Furnace Tap. Mine Collapse. Unfortunately, still no room for the fledgling imp here. Which is a shame. Um. I 
think we plink away the shade wings here. Pass the turn there. Okay. Don't get to play Alloy, unfortunately. Um, we do get to play this. I think last time I, I think I moved the Horn, Horn Warrior in front. Let's leave it behind for now. Everyone still dies here, huh? How did I play this differently last time? Oh, I think I put the Horn Warrior in front before. Okay, so we gotta run that back a little bit differently, I suppose. We might be able to pull this out. I, I don't know. Or pull this off, not pull this out. Pulling this out is an entirely different thing. We might be able to pull this off. I'm still very skeptical. I have the Welder Helper in front here, too. Hmm. Hit, hit. Hit. Hmm. If we kill you, it's hit and then hit as well. I guess we want to kill this guy still. Do this all the same. Let's not change things up too much, right? Oh, you know what? Last time I moved the the imp in front, didn't I? Here, because I left it, I left it behind. I guess we gotta do this now. Sucks, but whatever. Can we save the horn warrior here? I don't think so. I think I think the horn warrior is getting sh hit by the. Uh... The Seraph on this one. Let me just put it here as like a jump blocker for the for the future. Okay, we're leaking light wings. We're hanging on by an edge here, but I think we're about to eat shit and die. Oh no, we're actually living this. Okay. This has to be worth it, I think, playing two. Yeah, okay, good. Oh, and even okay, good, good. Okay, this this might This might make it, we'll see. Melee weakness here is gonna be pretty bad. But we're gaining a little bit of armor here. And no more melee weakness now either. I mean, I don't think we have enough though. I think he kills us in the Relentless here, right? We actually survive. That's just stupid. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> um. Uh, Malika, no. Go away. I have enough shards. Thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, silly. This is what I'll call this run. <laughs> Oh, 
This is this is maybe the stupidest thing I've ever done in this game. Very very good argument to make here. Now what are we what are we doing here? Um. We do a little of this. Obviously, gonna do this. We want the Horn Warrior in front. I, I think I think Hornbreaker Prince will be able to tank well enough here to get the the rage and then the armor from these boys. I think we want the Horn Warrior in the back here. I might be wrong. I think this is fine. So, by the time these boys make it to the top floor, they're doing. Three damage, so they're doing six damage per round. If I encamp, though, I'm giving these guys six damage, which so is a net zero. However, this gives me more, more energy to play more cards, aka March of Shields on the Hornbreaker Prince. So this is worth it, for sure. We play this here, and then we molt him to. Uh, actually, the Clergyman's probably worth keeping around for a Hornbreaker Prince to kill here. Um. So let, let's just let's just torch. this. I don't think we even play the Space Prism here because it's just encanting them. There you go. He's got, he's got the momentum. Play this to not get cursed. It's pretty good. I don't know. Get a little life back. The Horn Warrior is not going to live very long, but I think I think the Hornbreaker Prince is just uh, generating <laughs> infinite power. It's like a, it's like a what's it called? The uh, engine perpetual motion device. There you go. The Hornbreaker Prince is a perpetual motion device at this point. <laughs> Damn, that's so funny. It was pretty tricky, but we found the line for the Seraph the Patient fight, and I'm glad that it worked. It was a little, little, little weird, though. Hey, cool. Hey, it's a cool run. You can't, you can't, I mean, you can't debate it, I suppose, but I think this is a pretty neat run. Horn Warrior does drop here, but again, Perpetual Motion Device Hornbreaker Prince has got this one handled. Wow. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a run after God. This is, it's a run. It's a run of monster train for sure. Takes quite a bit of damage here from these spikes. Oh, we win the game though. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed that uh insane video. How many furnace taps did we actually have there at the end? It was like six or seven of them, right? <laughs> I gotta see. Let me let me look at this. <laughs> Where are we at? Get me out of here. Let me, let me look at the uh, the run summary. We had three. Oh, it was five. Five furnace taps, baby. <laughs> And if, that, if it wasn't Seraph the Patient, if it was like a different Seraph, it would have been like an unbelievably easy run too. Something to keep in mind. Working objects decline. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.